नमस्ते वेलकम टू यू जी सी ई पाठशाला फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टडीज आई एम अनिता खन्ना एंड आई टीच जैपनीज इन जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द टाइटल ऑफ टूडेज पेपर इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू जैपनीज लिटरेचर द मॉड्यूल नेम इज वट इज योर काई पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन हैविंग अंडरस्टूड वॉट योर काई इज एंड स्टडीड अबाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ योर काई एज अ फिनोमिन टू एज एन एंटिटी नाउ वी स्टडी अबाउट योर काई इन दिस मॉड्यूल एज अ विजुअल डिपिक्शन डिस्क्राइब बाय द फादर ऑफ योर काई स्टडीज professor kazuhiko komatsu in japan he is the director of nichibunken in kyoto and was present in and visited jnu as a visiting professor objective the objective of this module as stated by professor komatsu is to explain the importance of yokai studies in the history of japanese culture to explore the possibilities of the future yokai study and research as well as research methodology and the study material third establish its identity as a novel field of academic research across the globe four to showcase the rich yokai culture of japan five to archive this valuable resource for the sake of present and future times yokai as a visual depiction going back to figure 2 sphere c it indicates the visual depiction of a yokai while the japanese have a long standing tradition of illustrating old yokai tales not all yokai stories were illustrated thus the physical form of yokai was rather narrow in scope since oni and orochi are mentioned in the kojiki and nihon shoki the works of ancient age which could be translated as records of ancient matters and chronicles of japan as well as fudoki ancient reports on culture geography and tradition we can deduce that yokai like beings were described long before these documents were actually written however even though specific named yokai beings became more common and yokai stories were included in the documents they were apparently not illustrated until much later people could only imagine what the yokai may have looked like our current imagined depiction could be very different from how ancient japanese people imagined them conversely the imagined figure could be very similar as well so why didn't ancient japanese people pull all yokai figures to form perhaps no one thought it was necessary to give these beings a form or to draw them or perhaps such phenomena were hard to illustrate because they usually occurred in the dead of night in addition being and stories can be quite ambiguous like those that describe mysterious sounds more significantly ancient japanese people did not originally have the tradition of illustrating spirit figures or deities that were worshiped in the shrines since shinto deities and spirits were not drawn neither were oni or other yokai figures neither were oni or other yokai figures only after buddhism came into the country in the 6th century 
along with the statues and picture scrolls of Buddhist figures and deities, did the Japanese start to illustrate spiritual figures. At the end of the Heian period, however, Emaki horizontal picture scrolls, which combined both text and pictures, gained popularity in Kyoto, where many aristocrats, priests, and merchants lived. The scrolls chronicled famous stories political tales and folklore from temples and shrines that depicted spirits and deities within this, often playing a supporting role, were otherworldly figures, including mysterious yokai creatures. Now we start to see yokai that were previously only written about take visual illustrated form. For example, in the Kitano Tenjin Engi Emaki, the illustrated legends of Kitano Tenjin Shrine of late 13th century, a thunder god and prison guard from hell are visually depicted as Oni. Illustrated in another scroll, Fudo Ryaku Engi Emaki, the famous Omyoji Abenoseme, mentioned earlier, prays for the ill in a curing ritual and attempts to transfer male violent yaku biogami disease-bearing spirits from a patient's body. In this particular scene, you can see different kinds of yaku biogami considered yokai in front of the altar with shikigami the ceremonial conjured spirits who are assisting their Ommyoji master in the ritual. During the Muromachi period, 15th to 16th century, the folk tales and stories that were illustrated in those famous picture scrolls expanded probably through oral storytelling from the private audience of mainly royalty and monks to the more general public of the common people. This included many structured stories about the victory of humans over demons and other yokai such as defeat of Shuten Doji in the Oyama Ekotoba depicted in Oyama picture scroll and the defeat of Tsuchigumo, a monstrous earth spider in the 14th century, Suchigumo Zoshi, picture scroll of an earth spider. It was a pivotal moment in yokai culture when yokai were given visual representation and physical form. As illustrators drew various yokai and those yokai images were accepted by viewers, Specific imagery became popularly associated with specific yokai. For example, although Oni initially took on a variety of physical forms, Oni imagery became somewhat uniform relatively early. Eventually, Oni were almost always depicted with strong features. Eventually, Oni were almost always depicted with strong features, with horns on its head, browny muscles and clothing made from tiger skin. The authors of pictorial emaki, along with the audience that enjoyed the stories, must have feared these otherworldly yokai creatures that seemed to lurk in the shadows of the night. But these yokai picture scrolls were not necessarily subject to one's religious faith. Instead, the stories were perceived more as a form of entertainment. Nevertheless, stories about human defeating yokai and even just the act of forming and creating yokai images perhaps demonstrated human superiority over yokai the ability to control male violence 
or even conquer evil. When woodblock printing was created, yokai stories became even more popular and even more stories with illustrations were printed which were widely enjoyed especially by those who lived in cities. While certain yokai images became somewhat fixed, the variety of yokai grew substantially. Proliferation of yokai During the Middle Ages, yokai existed primarily as Oni, Tengu, Orochi and Kitsune. At the time, these entities or beings were the main embodiments of otherworldly yokai phenomena. Thus, yokai beings were initially somewhat limited in scope and within this limited scope, people tried to explain various otherworldly yokai events. As time went on, other mysterious yokai beings emerged such as centipedes, tsuchigumo, earth spider, yamauba, mountain hag and an explosion of others. How did that happen? How did the variety of yokai grow from a relatively small assortment to such great abundance? The act of naming yokai. One explanation is the act of naming yokai. Each yokai event experienced by an individual is merely a personal experience. However, if people have a shared experience with a strange otherworldly phenomenon, naming that phenomena creates a mutually understandable idea. Naming allows for the identification of specific yokai events, entities and visual depiction. For example, the echo you hear when you Project your voice towards a mountain is called a yama bito or a mountain person. While we do not think of this today as a yokai phenomenon, the echo was once thought to originate from the spirits that lived in the mountains. The yama bito is a personified version of a yama biko or mountain spirit. In addition, the Previously mentioned Furusoma or a Tengu Daoshi, when you hear trees falling in the woods, often followed by a gust of wind, and Tanuki Bayashi, when the sound of instruments can be heard in the dead of night, are all examples of shared yokai events that were named and thus became familiar to Japanese thought. In his work, Yokai Mei, the enumeration of yokai names, in his book, Yokai Dangi, Discourse on Yokai, Yanagita Kunio, a folk scholar, documented examples of names attributed to many otherworldly yokai phenomena and beings from all over Japan. There were different names for similar yokai characters and events depending on the region including Azuki Togi, Azuki Arai and Azuki Sarasara all referring to the sound of Azuki beans being washed near a natural water source. This means people made the effort to name such otherworldly yokai like events and characters. Beyond naming mysterious phenomena, specific types phenomena, specific types of entities or beings were given proper names. This naming corresponds to the rise in popularity of yokai tales among the public. For example, the demon kin depicted in the Oyama Ekotoba is given the name Shuten Doji and even subordinate Oni were given specific names and personas like Ibaraki Doji etc. In the Zengai Bo 
a maki zengai bo picture scroll which is a tengu story the tengu use similar names as priest such as zengai bo or nichirabo the point is that such naming of yokai experiences and beings was one way in which the variety of yokai increased oni and tengu were deep in the human imagination by the time these scrolls were executed and these tales had already become very popular tsukumogami amid the limited group of yokai mentioned above namely oni tengu orochi and kitsune the oni was most widespread as undesirable otherworldly being oni were rough spirits using oni as a foundation and incorporating the dominant ontological views of animism a new yokai category was created Tsukumogami are tools or utensils that have acquired a yokai spirit. The Tsukumogami emaki, Tsukumogami picture scroll, is the eminent explanation of tool yokai. It explains that when a tool turns hundred years old, it obtains a spirit with mysterious ability and turns into Tsukumogami. if an old discarded tool is thrown to the roadside before it is shown gratitude and appreciation for its service it may become angry cause ruckus or seek revenge on its human owner before turning 100 tools petition the spirit of the ancient text for the power to transform themselves into an oni When the emperor hears about these oni and their ruckus behavior he asks the high priest to quell them with their mystical powers the oni are defeated by the goho doji unleashed by the priests when the oni or tools possessed by vengeful spirits surrender they are converted to buddhism and attain peace What I see as most interesting about these tool spirits is that they transform into oni to rid themselves of their resentment towards humans. The tools progressively transform into oni. Each tool first develops eyes, nose, hands, and feet. Then it gradually sheds its tool character and becomes an oni, a demon. Some illustrations show that when tools completed this transition they all started to look alike which is not only uninteresting but the tools become indistinct and their original forms become unrecognizable you cannot guess what kind of a tool it originally was however many drawings captured the original form so you could still tell that it was a vase or a folding fan It was likely that in these cases there was a conscious effort to differentiate the tools if 100 tools all turned into an oni of the same kind regardless of their initial variety the result is 100 of the same kind of yokai however when each tool is documented before it turns into an oni and they retain some of their original form There are 100 different kinds of yokai. Thus the creation of Tsukumogami is another factor in the expansion of yokai characters. The famous Shinjuan Emaki, Hyakki Yagyo, Night Parade of 100 Demons exemplifies the abundance of yokai types in it. illustration of tool spirits demons and other kinds of yokai merrily processing through the night printing technology during the edo period yokai images gained great popularity particularly in urban centers like edo present day tokyo 
why did urban artists take such interest in yokai that were known primarily through oral storytelling ukiyoe master toriyama sikien commonly referred to as sikien created a four volume set of word block printed yokai books the gazu hyakki yagyo which was based on the famous hyakki yagyo emaki sekien's printed reference type books were produced in large quantities which made the imagery and the stories accessible to the masses as opposed to the more elite classes who had exclusive access to hand painted scrolls kept by aristocrats and monks these books did very well other artists built on the success of yokai prints and publications like sekien's the sheer volume of yokai prints produced by urban edo period ukiyo-e artist made yokai imagery and associated stories very popular these artists continued to create and illustrate new yokai beings adding to the copious variations of yokai persona and visual depiction yokai and yure i am often asked about the difference between yokai and yure yure are ghost which i view as a sub category of yokai the relationship can be described using the correlation between humans and animals although human beings are animals they are categorized differently because humans have their own culture similarly yure are part of the yokai world but they are subjects of countless stories and they occupy their own category yure are emanations of the human soul there are two types of yure the first type includes ghost in the human world a typical ghost story describes a spirit that remains in the human world because it has some kind of lingering grudge much of which is targeted towards a living human due to persistent emotions the yure cannot enter the world of the dead some yure remain because they still feel love and devotion towards a particular person in addition ghosts who were not prepared to die like those killed by a random falling structure or in a car accident may appear at home at work or at the scene of accident because their soul continues to live or does not know that it is dead in this case if a person who encounters the yure does not know she or he is dead the person would treat the yure as if the yure is still alive the second type of ghost include those that make appearance in theatrical plays i call these third party ghosts because unlike the first type the third party ghosts can easily recognize the yure as dead they are depicted in such a way that they are easily identifiable as ghosts by just looking at its shape and form as being they don't have legs or they are dressed in burial clothing for example as being with a connection to the human world ghosts emerge with aim of having a social relationship of some kind whether it is one of nostalgia or resentment ghosts are thought to appear before specific individuals because it likes misses or dislikes them however these are ghosts that appear in front of people to whom they had no prior connection such as in the story of the ghost taxi ride in which a ghost asks a taxi driver for a ride to the scene of her accident there are many old stories and explanations about the decreased reappearing in front of the living including heian period nihon ryoiki 
a Buddhist Setsuwa collection. Accordingly, ghosts don't always appear because they want to resolve lingering resentment. Instead, some want to express gratitude or convey a grievance. Perhaps resentment does not necessarily occupy a high priority for all ghosts. 